about radio. Hi guys, this is uh, a magnetic loop antenna that I built some years ago for use on 17 meters. Uh, I also use it on 20 meters and 40 meters. And um, the, yeah, this, we've got some figures here. On 17 meters, the calculated efficiency is 19.26%. Uh, uh, at 20 meters, it's 84.5%. But at 40 meters, uh, that drops down to 31.4%. So it's never going to be a world beater on 40 meters. But I have used it on 40 meters, I have QSOs. So uh, you know, it allows me to get out uh, when I'm working portable. Um, and as long as it's a couple of foot off the ground, that's all it needs. So I've, um, uh, had it working on a kitchen table, I've had it working on a coffee table, and out on the deck here, it performs no problem. But if you put it on right on the floor, uh, then uh, you'll, you'll kill it stone <laughs> dead. Um, the thing you've got to watch for this is the voltage on the capacitor. Um, that capacitor is um, uh, at 17 meters. On sorry, on 17 meters, um, you need 4.9 picofarads, but that has 3.1 kV on it, so 3,100 volts RF on it, so a bit firing. On 20 meters. Um, uh, the capacitance needs to be 15.6 picofarads and then it's got 3.7 kV on it, so 3,700 volts. Um, at 40 meters uh, it has uh, 103.8 picofarads and that has 4.6 kV on it, so 4,600 volts. What I did for the uh, 40 meter band was um, I made a capacitor out of uh, coax cable and uh, that just hangs on uh, on the top of the capacitor up there and that's just a little bit below uh, 100 picofarads uh, that capacitor is uh, 2 times 43 picofarads um, that I've got in series but it's a reasonably wide space capacitor. The air gap um, between the, each of the, the fixed plates and the moving plates is uh, about one and a half millimeters either side. So uh, in all, I've got an air gap of three millimeters. And um, I, I couldn't use it in the rain without protecting it. Um, but I've certainly used it indoors and at um, 100 watts RF output. Um, I, I've never had a flashover, never had a problem with that, uh, with that sort of spacing. But if you were to use something like um, an ordinary domestic radio receiver capacitor, uh, it almost certainly will flash over. So don't use just any old capacitor. The antenna is very simple to construct. It's made of uh, 22 millimeter outside diameter copper pipe. That's uh, approximately three quarters of an inch. Uh, it has four uh, 90 degree elbows, uh, one at each corner that's soldered into place. And uh, I suppose the only complicated bit is that uh, middle connector at the bottom. Uh, I'll show you details of that. But to hold the antenna upright, I've soldered a little flag on here and here and that those flags are made out of this uh, copper tube. I've just cut a bit of tube down its length and flattened it out and soldered it on. Then this uh, little wooden support gets bolted on uh, there through that hole and there through that hole. But it all folds on for, uh, for transport. In order to make a good electrical and mechanical joint at this point, I uh, used a pipe coupling. So this is a, a standard pipe coupling that I've uh, modified and uh, it uh, allows me to get a, a very good electrical connection and also a good mechanical connection.
I made this unit three years ago and it's it stayed good. I put a little bit of Vaseline on it. And um, what I've got there is um, a standard coupling with uh, an olive and I've soldered the olive onto this pipe so I assembled it all, covered it in flux and uh, soldered that together so that is permanently fixed to that part. And then on this side I've made a, a bayonet fitting out of it. And what I did was uh, locked up the um, olive and squeezed it down to the right size then I soldered that and then wiped all of the solder off whilst it was hot so that's a nice um, permanently fixed olive and then with the pipe back in place I drilled through just on the very edge and then um, uh, that's actually a, a nail uh, that I've put through there and then I cut the nail off so that the end of the nail on both sides is just below the root of the thread on the uh, on the, on that part and uh, hopefully you can see that slot goes you know, there's a, a slot either side there and then I say this nail goes through and then that nail is soldered in place and of course the nut clears that so that's cut off in such a fashion that it doesn't foul the threads when that's together uh, it stops these two tubes from twisting around Oh, that's the coax feed and then the other side of the coax comes up to the gamma rod and uh, you'll see that on the bottom of the antenna I've got it marked off in inches and I've also got it marked off as uh, 40 meters, 17 meters and 20 meters and that's the position where I get the best SWR match on those bands and then I've got these uh, little wing nuts that allow me just to uh, slacken the uh, uh, the arm off and just slide it along to where I want it to be and that's just the the back of the RF connector there and uh, that's the back of the little wing nuts there's a 90 degree elbow at uh, each corner soldered into place. There's uh, this piece of uh, macron at the top that again is just held in place with uh, four bolts and four wing nuts and then my capacitor assembly fits across here. The capacitor terminals are uh, fixed to the end of the pipe here. This is again just a, a strip of copper made from the tube that I've uh, put onto there and uh, I've put them this way particularly because the uh, current will flow that way. If you put them that way on then you'll be expecting all of the current to flow in the very edge so uh, it, it, it makes uh, practical sense to put it like that and then the current flow in the capacitors again is uh, in the same direction it's flowing across the capacitor. By using the capacitor in the uh, split uh, fashion like this there's no current passing through any uh, moving contact um, and that's uh, that's good for loop antennas because there's uh, a reasonable bit of current rattling around so that's the little unit with the capacitor bolted into place and um, if you've seen the other videos you remember I saying this was um, a, a lot of insulation well, remember I've got 3000 volts on there and I don't want that uh, 3000 volts coming down my uh, sort of <laughs> 12 volt uh, power supply line for that motor so uh, this is my uh, Kenwood uh, TS570D I've got the uh, magnetic loop uh, set up out on the deck there. I've been listening here for a little while and uh, there's no activity 
Um, I've got the transmitter on uh, 5 watts. Um, I've got the antenna tuner, this thing, uh, switched out of circuit. So the automatic uh, antenna tuner is out of circuit. Um, and uh, we'll just pop that on to CW and uh, send. So you see I've got um, SWR of uh, 1 to 1. Um, and that's the sort of control that I've got. So that's the speed that I was tuning at in the last clip. Um, and that's the sort of control that I've got. Yeah. We'll pop that back on too. Um, and uh, we'll put the uh, the power up to a hundred watts. Is this frequency in use, please? Is this frequency occupied? CQ test, CQ test, CQ test. This is Golf Whiskey Zero, Japan X-Ray Mexico calling CQ test, CQ test. Golf Whiskey Zero, Japan X-Ray Mexico calling CQ test and standing by. Golf Whiskey Zero, Japan X-Ray Mexico. Okay, uh, uh, it's Golf Whiskey Zero, Japan, X-Ray, Mexico, and the name is Andy, Alpha November, Delta, Yankee. Uh, go ahead, 9K2, you, you. Yeah, Delta, 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 Japan, X-Ray, Mexico, 9K2, you, you, good afternoon, Andy. You are coming about 5668. My name is Barak, Bravo Alpha, Radio, Radio Alpha, Kilo, location in New York, Kuwait City. Good to see you, I got uh, Andy for the first time on Best of the Day from Kuwait. Zero, Mexico, Zero, Julius, X-ray, Mexico, from 9K2, Uniform, Uniform. Okay, Barak, thank you for the uh, uh, the signal report. Barak, I'm just making a, uh, a video to go on to YouTube and uh, I wanted to uh, put this QSO on uh, YouTube with the details of your uh, station. Your station looks very impressive, Barak. Uh, back to you. Go ahead. That's correct, Barack. Uh, it's, uh, I've made a, a little aerial, a, a magnetic loop antenna, and I just wanted to uh, make a note of it on, on YouTube. So thank you for the signal report, and uh, all the best to you. Uh, 9K2UU, this is Golf Whiskey Zero, Japan X-Ray Mexico, saying 73s, and thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Okay, so obviously I got a, a, a fairly light signal report as everybody else is, but I'll uh, I'll now show you the uh, station that uh, Barack is working from as um, 9K2UU and uh, he's a little bit more impressive than mine but I will also show you where the antenna is uh, at the moment so uh, I'll just uh, idea of uh, the working conditions I've actually bought the loop indoors because um, uh, I, the band was shot to pieces last night and uh, I just put the loop in here and uh, I've switched the uh, receiver, well, switch the transmitter on a couple of times uh, this morning, and um, uh, there were no stations to be heard at all. But uh, say I just heard uh, that guy um, uh, on the air, so um, 
thought it would be interesting to uh, have a little chat with him. <laughs> 